Hey, hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Jason Sagerbeeld, founder of Sage Music, and I'm excited today to introduce you to one of our newest faculty members. Uh, this is Mr. Michael Conklin. Uh, hello. You can shake my hand here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And welcome to this brief interview. And uh, I remember we were getting uh, ready to, um, well, when we were interviewing for this position, uh, Michael's teaching here at Woodwinds and Improvisation. Uh, we got to start to talk about coffee just a little bit. And in one of my former jobs, I was the director of purchasing at Ritz Carlton. I bought tons of coffee from all over the world and have been very kind of, I don't want to say passionate, maybe I've just been addicted ever since. And, uh, you know, we got to talk about coffee and Michael's very, very interested in making like the perfect cup of coffee. And uh, so, you're making this coffee, right? Yeah, I'm making this coffee. Yeah, so tell us what you're gonna do here. Uh, I'm using a recipe I stole from the 2017 World Aeropress Champion. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this, I, did, I didn't know there was an Aeropress Champion. Yeah, there's an yes. Aeropress Championship. <laughs> there's a championship for just about anything that you could be competitive in. Uh, this is an Aeropress. You've never seen one before. So uh, basically, coffee sits in here with a filter. Uh, it the coffee brews in the vessel, okay. and then I press it through, so in case it's so kind how about, of a... How about we just do it here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm anxious to see what you're making. <laughs> or to try what you're making. Sure, yeah. So here's the coffee I just ground, which is very important. Yeah. All right, so the coffee goes into the AeroPress? Into the And the AeroPress. filter's underneath here, is that right? The filter actually is going to go on last on top here, and then, okay. so right now the whole thing is upside down. Got it. And then I'm going to flip it around. Okay. Okay, so we got hot water. So I know, I know about this hot part. Hot water, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like most, like most, not all, but most coffee has hot water. All right, and, and what are you doing with this thing down here? So right now, I'm may weighing the exact amount of water that I want to have for my perfect cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, so how much water we put? Uh, in so I'm going to put in 150 grams for 150 grams, and yeah. how much coffee was inside? Uh, 35 grams. 35 of grams coffee. coffee. Okay, and so this is actually. Of this is actually going to make a concentrate, and then I'm going to add a little hot water at the end. But okay. So for 15 seconds. So we're only letting it sit for 15 seconds. Or I should pour 150 grams within 15 seconds, hopefully, if I'm fast enough. Which I... 120. We're getting close. 130, 140. Good. There we are. All right. Actually, that was right on 15 seconds. That was pretty good. I can see it on the camera. But <laughs> you got it right there on time. And then I just stir okay. until 35. Nine, thirty-one, thirty-three, thirty-five. I think you quit at thirty-four. Oh no! <laughs> Should be okay. It was still All right. around. You're not going to win the Aeropress Championship this no, year. No, probably no. not. <laughs> but hopefully, we'll get decent results. Um, so that can brew for a little bit. I'm going to put the cap on. Well, everything else is so precise. So how how, how long is this going to brew? This is brewing until one oh five, which get, by we then got ten seconds away. By then I can start. Ooh, almost there. Okay. Then I flip it around. And yeah, press I guess again. You just press it through, huh? Yeah, and until one thirty-five, which should give us a concentrate. Hopefully you got to slow down here. I think you got fifteen seconds left. We're counting down. Four more seconds for you watching at home. I'm going to tell you how it is. You know, I know this, <laughs> you're just kind of watching. There uh, we go. <laughs> so, now, so now it's just ground. So now things are no longer quite as time sensitive. So that's okay. All right. So coffee's made. The coffee's made, and now I can add. Oh, but I do want to measure it again. So now it's just a concentrate. So way way stronger than I want. Right, so how much how much water are you going to be adding here now this time? 200. 200, 200 grams. On top of the original 150. On top of the original 150. That should bring us. I think it's getting a little bit closer here. here. Yeah. So, you know, when I go down to uh, the coffee shop, they don't really they kind of do it with this kind of detail, do they? <laughs> not, not all the time. Not all the time? Um, not all the time. You've got you to really look for the, the places that like to do this. And then those are a little bit 
privacy. Okay. They to me, but <laughs> <laughs> here he is. <laughs> here it is. So shall, shall we split this up here? Yeah. And see how you did. Uh, let me move these out so of the way. We can set that just wherever. Yeah. Hopefully, I can do this cleanly. Uh, it's all right. It's you got to pour it fast. I think. Yeah. So you can have the less messy one if you want, or that one. Already, already. <laughs> it's all right. I don't. I don't mind. Messy. So there we good. go. Yeah. So cheers. Cheers. <laughs> let's, see, let's see how you did here. It smells pretty good. It does smell good. <clears throat> I have to say that's a pretty clean cup of coffee. Yeah, it is. I, I'm yeah. happy with it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm happy too. I, you can be our coffee champ. Yeah. Here, yes. <laughs> So um, anyway, uh, you, uh, if you're watching this video, you probably see like a different background than you normally see. Uh, we're here on the second floor of the Long Island City Art Center, and uh, the space we're in right now is one unit, and this is going to be one third of our new school. So we'll be moving here to the second floor with all the other schools in the building, and there are going to be three uh, units all in a row. We're going to have a performance space, uh, a big waiting room, and additional practice rooms and uh, we're just waiting for the building to give us possession of these spaces so we can start the construction. And one of the things I'm psyched about is that uh, we're gonna promote Michael here from Woodwind Instructor to Coffee Maker in our, our new space. Because uh, <laughs> I love coffee, so hopefully we're gonna have awesome coffee service in the new space too. But anyway, I just wanna to talk to you a little bit uh, while we're enjoying this great cup of coffee. Just, uh, you know, you're pretty new to the school and we're mm -hmm. excited to have you. And uh, maybe you. you can tell me a little bit about just your experience here at the school so far. My experience at the school so far has been great. Um, I'm really happy with the level of detail that um, I'm, I'm expected to teach at and that, that I'm taught uh, in the training. Um, I really love that the school has an emphasis on relationships um, with our students, uh, whereas in some of my experiences in music schools before, um, I was just kind of a, oh, can I, can I play my instrument? okay, you're hired, then I would never see anyone again except my students. No one was checking in on them. Maybe the recital, but uh, uh, really I feel like everyone's commu communicating here. There's more, there's, there's a better sense of community here that I really enjoy. That's awesome. Well, yeah. well we're great to have you. Uh, you know, sorry, we're not great to have you. We are happy <laughs> to have you as part of uh, the community here. <laughs> and then also tell me about the students here. What do you, what do you find about the students here at the school? Uh, what I find about the students um, is that they really, they, they come here with uh, high expectations and they come here with with with, with goals and they, they want to achieve something which is great because um, it, it's I don't know it's nice I feel I feel like it's very much a two-way relationship I teach they teach me we're both learning um, yeah um, it's it's exciting to get to know all the students. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that because yeah. I've always been impressed with the sort of students who come to school because I always find yeah. they're very much committed. They do want to achieve. You know, there's no there's no babysitting involved. People come here and right. learn, yeah. whether they're an adult or a child, uh, and that's exciting. So, what about you? Do you have uh, particular goals? Uh, you know, you mentioned the students all come with goals. Have right. You, yeah. Have you come here with a certain goal? Come here as a teacher with a certain goal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To build to build a uh, well to kind of build and maintain a studio of longtime students and, and friends and uh, yeah, um, make, make, a, make a good living as a teacher but also make a happy living as a teacher. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what, I'm, I'm really hoping we can help, uh, no, I'm not hoping, we're going to help you build <laughs> yeah, all these definitely. things here. We're, it's we're our, excited, it's yeah, already we're begun. excited to, yeah. to get you on this path and uh, you know, this is really great and uh, the coffee's awesome. So right. thank you. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> we'll be, we'll have to be, well, Man, I can't talk today. We'll be having more of these together. Great, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>